everybody. We're about to install our new TV and we're going to mount it with this master mounts bracket. So what I'm going to do is going to open a box of the TV and find out its mounting point and see how this bracket will mount on the TV dictating how high or low it's going to be to where it's going to attach to the wall. So this is important so that the TV doesn't hit the ceiling once we get it installed or be too low it hits the window and I'll show you that. So as you can see here this is the location for the television it says TV backer location. That's the location of the TV so I've never done this before so I'm looking for something solid to screw this mount in and I feel something here and here it Right where the sticker is, it doesn't feel very solid. And if I move over here, it feels solid here. So it would appear that the stud, the vertical stud is right here. So that's where the mountain bracket's gonna have to go into. Now we're gonna attach it here and then we gotta find out how high and low we wanna put it so the TV folds away and doesn't hit the balance and doesn't hit the ceiling. So that's what I'm here to do. All right, before I do any hole drilling of any kind I want to see how the whole system works so I had to make sure I don't have to go back and do steps again so this is the mount laid out over here I have the stand for the TV the feet the feet we don't need those because it's not going to be standing on a table so we can just put those aside uh, there's some other literature talking about how to mount those feet and that's all over here to the side and so here is the master mount instructions this is the power cord for the TV that can be installed last then another master mount uh, instructions here so we got a couple to look through everything's laid out TV is laid face down I put this little plastic here to protect the screen so it doesn't get all scratched up and I it's got a plastic up here too to protect the trim <clears throat> step one it says to unlock this mounting bracket itself because it was closed all the way like this so pull the chain and it unlocks it so it swivels so this part will go to the wall and this part will go to the TV and then this bracket will screw in here and this bracket will screw to the TV so I already checked the hole alignment I already checked it so these holes line up which is great that's good news and then the mounting bracket comes with two size different size screws one a larger diameter and one a smaller diameter so I have yet to mess with that because that's not the first step so we'll mess that mess with that when the step comes up the first step is to open the, the mounting bracket so that's what I've done so the second says is wood stud wall installation and then it has a cement wall installation so this is step 2a step 2b we don't have a cement wall so we're using the wood stud wall installation so here it shows to get a torpedo level to level this mounting bracket to where we want to mount it. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, now I got my torpedo level. And now I'm going to locate the solid area. So another thing I want to measure is the center of this bracket to the side of the TV. Because if we put the bracket here, the TV might hit here. All right, here are some of the tools you're going to need to mount the TV. As you're going to need a tape measure, a pencil to mark, a cordless drill or a screw gun or screwdriver, uh, a level, and a bit set if you're going to be using the, the cordless drill. All right, one of the most important things to do before you mount your TV mount is to level your trailer front to back. Uh, side to side is not as important. Um, on this because I'm going to be leveling front to back with the mount All right, here we are at the TV and I've laid the mount in its position and then I laid beside it 
the mount uh, according to the height. So the side to side, this is the center of the mount where it will be bolted to the TV. And then we measure all the way to the outer edge of the TV from the center of the mount. So the center of the mount is around 11 inches from the center of the TV to the outer edge. So we want to make sure we clear uh, 11 inches at least, or let's just round it up to a foot to give us an inch leeway. And then so this is the wall mount. This will slide in like this and both the top of the mount and the bracket are flush when it's all the way in. So we can trust this measurement on top to measure from the top of the mount to the top of the TV. All right, so if we measure from the ceiling to the balance, it's 20 inches. So if we divide that in half, that would be 10. So if we wanted to ideally center this, we would configure the location of the center of the TV to line up uh, with the bracket cor corresponding to the measurement to make it centered. Okay, now here, based on my measurements, the center of the TV, I put a mark right here that will bring the TV about an inch away from this trim. So that gives us plenty of play here to where if it moves around it won't bump the trim. And then I did a measurement to get us centered between this valet and the top of the ceiling. So that'll put us right around here if my measurements are correct, which we will see. So according to that, I put a mark here. So here is a mark that I put for the distance between the center between here and the balance. And this mark is the, is the measurement to give me an inch clearance from here to the TV, which will end right there. So here's our crosshairs. <clears throat> and I measured and leveled with my level, my bubble level, to create a straight line with the bubble level. Now remember, the camper has to be level. If your camper is not level, <clears throat> and you put this bubble level up here, and the bubble level shows you level, and your camper isn't level, you don't have a crooked mount. Your TV will be crooked if your camper is not level. So here we go. We're level, and I drew a line. So right here is my crosshairs, where the center of my bracket should go. So the easy part is there is a hole right here to mark the center. So I can put a little dot here with the pencil for the center. And to double check, we got a level and a bracket. We can, and the bracket can be moved slightly before you tighten the screws. So here I can put a, a little mark for the bottom screw. We got our spot for both screws. So. Now I'm going to get the drill and drill a pilot hole, smaller diameter than the screw. So you can make it easy for the screw to go in. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on it. The drill will do the work and make a hole and the hole smaller than the screw. Then the screw will, will go as long as it's not too big. You don't want that hole to be big. You want it to be small so the screw actually grabs the wood. Real important. You make the hole too big, the screw doesn't grab enough then the tr the mount will come loose and the TV will fall. So let's get the screws and get the correlating drill bit size so it'll fit tight. All right, here is our screw. Diameter is uh, really important for selecting the right bit. Length is not because we don't really need to go in the wall that far. So here is my bit that I'm going to use and the way I do that is I put the bit on top of the threads and make sure that the threads are poking out past the bit and maybe even a little bit of the main part of the bit the main part of the screw uh, to where if you put the drill bit behind it, it totally is hidden but it's not tiny you know you want to have it remove some of the wood I take this real bit pilot it out and then uh, drive the mount in all right, I got my two holes ready, already marked. Wow, there's nothing behind that. That's not good. 
How's it going to hold? This is the TV backer. There's got to be something back there. So let's put a hole right where the sticker is. See if that makes any difference. Let's, let's do another mark. Try one right there then. Now, this is what I was hoping to avoid. Putting holes everywhere. But... Alright, there it is. So there's no choice. You can't go here. Because there's nothing behind it. But it's right here. Alright, there's the first one. Alright, I got my screw bit ready. So, let's... So here, we're almost tight. Leave it a little bit loose to level it. Put our level on it. Alright. So now we want to center this. There we go. Let's drill it out a little. Ready for the second one. Now we can tighten this all the way. Gently. We don't want to over tighten. All right. All right. That's actually the hardest part, getting this bracket just right. So it's on there. There we go. So now we can mount the bracket onto the TV. Okay, according to step three, it says to mount the bracket to the TV. So let's do that. All right, I turned on the fan because it's a little bit warm in here. All right, so this bracket, like I said, previously lined up with uh, these holes here. Now we got to get the right screw. Let's pick out a screw and try the big one. Now we got these washers we're going to use. According to the instructions, I'm going to go with the screw. Let's see. Big ones are too big. So, let's go to the small ones. Yes, the small ones are it. Alright, that's done. What's the next step in our instructions? Remove nut and set aside. All right, take that off. Set aside. Now it says we can get our mount and get it in place. Let's do that. We got our mount. Look at that. Just like it should. So, once we get that in, it's to secure the washer and nut. So we'll tighten these down and we should be good. All right, we got this firmly attached. This is actually adjustable to, if your TV is unlevel, you can loosen this and pivot the whole bracket, like left and right, to make it level. So if you're off a little bit on your mount, a little forgiving. Another cool thing they give you is if we tilt this up according to the instructions, they have the mount frame or support beam is hollowed out. So you unscrew, it has two screws on each bracket section. When you unscrew this, then you can run the power cord to your TV behind the TV so it doesn't sag and uh, lay loose. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unscrew these things so I can run the power cord there. That's really a nice feature. As you can see here, I ran the power cord so I I left, you know, slack 
so the TV can move around. So it's important to have some slack there so the TV, you know, can move around and not bind the cord. These little things were really easy. You use a hand finger uh, screwdriver, not a power screwdriver, so you don't strip the screws out. This is just plastic. And there you go, very simple. All right, here we go, let's see what happens. All right, went in the bracket. It did touch the ceiling, but it went in. All right, there it is, it's secured. And we pull this when we want to watch TV in bed. It goes, that's fully extended. So you can pivot it whatever you want. And then when you're done and you're gonna travel, pull this little chain. Lock it in. Then you gotta hook up your TV source. Right here is your coaxial to go in for the antenna on the camper. So we gotta get a coaxial cable to co connect the TV to. There we go. Nice. So, all right, that's the final product. We got the TV in the corner, and it's all good. Well, thanks for watching our video on how to install a TV mount in your RV and our grand design Transcend Explorer 260 RB. All right, hope you guys are doing well with all this virus stuff, and this is what we can do while we don't go out camping because they won't let us so hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you next time